Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see all of you guys. I have a question. We're starting. We're starting a series that I'll be preaching on uh, this week on love. Okay, on love. Um, but I need some help before I start. I wonder if you guys, if anybody has a definition of love. What does it mean to love somebody? I need to love somebody. Just think about it for a second. And help me figure out what it means to love somebody or to love something. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, well, love is when you take care of someone. Okay, very good. Thank you. Love is when you take care of someone. Okay, so when you're worried about their well-being, and so you take care of them, that is what it means to love. Good, that's a good answer. Okay, what else? How else would you, what else is you? Okay, so so you like motorbikes or love motorbikes when you are so maybe like when you really really enjoy something pretty awesome you love it is that right would that be kind of a definition of love sure that's a way that we use love yeah yeah okay um, what else yeah those aren't bad now here's a second question what are some things or people who you love. Oh, you gotta hang it up right away. There must be something you really love. Yeah. My sister. Your sister. Whoa. That must make her feel pretty great to hear that. Right? That's good. Yeah, Evan. Family, okay? Your family. That's a, that's somebody that you that's a group of people that you love, that you care for, and probably that you enjoy quite a bit too, right? Yeah, alright. Anybody else? Any any people or any things? That you love, because you can. I think that that love can work for both of those. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I like. I love bicycles. Okay, I love bicycles too. Isn't it so fun to ride on bicycles? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I love. I love riding bike. I really enjoy it. Yes, absolutely. Mr. Jack. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy. Sometimes I just excluded that. Oh, okay, okay. So you don't love it when you fight, but you do love your brother. That's good. Okay. Any, um, anything else? Miss, Miss Ireland, yes? You love your mom, I know you do. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so here is another question then. Who's, who's somebody who loves you? Miss Annabelle? God. Oh, very nice. Yeah, all right, that's good, that's good. Yeah, that God loves you and your family loves you. Yep, that's right. Your babysitters. Your babysitters, they take care of you, for sure. <laughs> this man. Mom and Dad. <laughs> yes, Miss Octavia. Uh, don't you please a young camera go see a yucky chanted chocolate milk? Oh, chocolate milk, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what would your last two, okay, Miss Island or Jeff? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, and Jack, did you have one? Yes. There's a lot of people that love you guys. Okay? So we're going to be thinking about love uh, for the next few weeks what it means, what it looks like, and, um, and some other things, okay? So as we think about it, I want you to remember those two ideas, that love is something that means that you care for someone, okay? That you give to someone, that you watch out for someone, and also that you enjoy things as well. Those are both good definitions of love. And I want you to remember today and every week that Jesus and God are the definition of love. When we look at Jesus, we can be sure that he is showing us what love means, what it looks like, and how we can share and show it to others too. Okay? That's the heart of our sermon. And what Paul's talking about in 1 Corinthians 13, he's giving us a definition not only of what love looks like, but also of what Jesus looks like. Okay? So let's pray together, and then you guys can head back to your seats.
Heavenly Father, we pray that you would guide us in love and that you would surround these children with your love uh, that you have shown them for all of us in Jesus Christ. In whose name we pray, amen. All right, head back to seats, guys. We'll see.